will be my greatest work yet. Crazy bitch. Crazy, crazy hoe. Can't even switch weapons or anything. Can't even reload or sprint. Well, this should be interesting. Real done interesting. Beyond sympathy at this point. We're beyond humanity. Glad she had lots of spare ammo with her. A job, huh? Sure. My schedule just cleared. That's how you clean a lab. Wish we could do that at school. Oh, finally. I, that is the actual end of Resident Evil 6, so these are the final credits, which I'll just let roll for formality's sake. Where to start, really? Um, okay. So, I know there are a lot of bad reviews in this game. Like, people are like, oh, it's not the normal Resident Evil it's supposed to be. Like, you know, Resident Evil 2, where it's, you know, dark and scary. And, you know, you jump, you jump out of your pants a lot. But, um... You know, a series over six games cannot be the same thing, you know, rehashed and rehashed. Otherwise it gets boring and old, you know, like Call of Duty. <laughs> and yet people keep buying that for I don't god knows what reason, but um I really like this game. It's a nice game on its own. The series evolved to a point where it's more of like an action y shooter, but you know, it, it's a relatively good game. Um If I had to rate it out of a ten, I would give it a I give it around an 8 to 8.5 rating. Like, sure, it has its flaws, like, the camera and controls are... They piss me off a lot, but... The game is great, the story is long, at least. It's not like, pay 60 bucks for, like, a 5 hour game, and that's it. It's just stupid. 2 bucks an hour. I, no, not doing that, sorry. But, I'm glad that developers, uh, you know, realize that at this point. Um, Neon's campaign I like the most, and, you know, it's some more Resident Evil feeling type of uh, campaign, and plus it's Leon, so can't go wrong with that. It was more like a serious and mature storyline. Um, that's why I liked it the most. Um, Chris's campaign, it was a good campaign. Not quite as good as Leon's, but it was still relatively good. Um, your standard, you know, soldier, honor, whatever. So, the end boss kind of pissed me off, but, um... <laughs> Besides that, it was a good campaign, and then Jake's campaign, um, that was okay. It was an overall okay type of game. I mean, uh, campaign, mixing my words up yet again. Um, it had a more of a campy feel to it. It was like the comic relief character, so, I don't know, I, I, it was okay for me. I enjoyed Jake's. And, uh, Ada's campaign, um, you know, kind of tying things together. I feel it was kind of rushed through, but in a good way. That's the only way I can say it. Because most campaigns, you know, you have point A to point B, and they just make the path between both points where you're supposed to do just really long and the same thing. Just kill this enemy, kill this enemy, kill this enemy. It's like, okay, I get the point. 
you know, if I wanted to do that, I could just play, uh, what's the name of it? Agent Hunt? Not Agent Hunt. Mercenaries? Whatever. But, um, yeah, besides that, uh, I really enjoyed the game. I don't know why people are bagging this so much. I mean, I haven't played all the Resident Evils, to be honest. The last game of Resident Evil I played was probably when I was a kid. Sorry. Um, it's been a very long time since I've actually played it. So there's that. Um, another thing is that mostly in Leon's and sometimes, what was it? It was in Leon's. I think it was a couple times in Chris's. We're just like boobs, boob action. Um, I guess it was technically legal because there was no nip showing, but still, it was boob and ass. Can't forget that. So I'm not sure if I have to edit that out or blur it or something, but you know, I'm just going to leave it in, so that's what I'm going to do. I, you know, people complain about it, you know, it is Resident Evil, it's a rated R, not rated R, rated M game, but it's Resident Evil, seriously. If you don't want to see, like, blood and gore and weird stuff, then you probably shouldn't be watching it. Nor should you be watching me, because I use language that is not so kid-friendly all the time. Son of a bitch. Um, what else was there? I think that, the, so basically that's my two cents. Um... Just again, if you enjoyed watching this, or if for some reason this is the only video of mine you're watching, then I recommend you go and buy it. It's a good game. It has a very nice campaign, four campaigns, um, stuff to unlock, the um, tokens. Uh, the tokens, of course, I missed the tokens. I missed about half of the tokens, I'd guess. There's 80 tokens, I got about probably 30, so less than half. But yeah, that's fun. And then you have online multiplayer, and then offline, like, kill zombies over and over again, like a, what's, ah, I cannot remember the name, nope, it's not going to be at all, but, um, yeah, it's, I recommend doing it, so, how long was this, 20 hours of gameplay, 18 to 20 hours, it's a decently long game, so, campaign is not lacking in time, at least, so, there's that, but anyways, um, Hope you enjoyed watching this one. The next game I'll be doing is uh, Dishonored, I believe. And that is a little bit shorter of gameplay, but hopefully they'll actually let me do stealth gameplay. You know, I don't know why in this game stealth is like a no-no. Maybe it's just me, or maybe I don't know what it is, but I know I'll try to be doing the stealth route in that. But anyways, um, I think the credits are just about over anyways. I don't know, Resident Evil usually has long credits. AIDDCC. See, I have no idea what that is. UI, well, there's UI. But, um, anyways, I hope you watched, uh, and enjoy watching, uh, my gameplay and walkthroughs, and please like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. I don't care. It's your choice, your person. I'm just doing my thing, which I enjoy doing. It's like, it is your choice to join the team or not, so to speak. So um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, and hope to see you again in future walkthroughs, and hopefully Dishonored, which is my next one. So thanks for watching.
Alright, I hope you weren't unwise enough to sit through all of that. Um, just get for the rest of the, uh, whatever. And a dog tag. Ada can now be used with the extra content. Coolio dealio. Um, I'll try to show you a little bit extra stuff, um, that I got. Um, what was the first thing? I completely forgot. No. Wow, I'm just having a mind slip today. Um, right, right, right. The, uh, skills. I want to show you the other skills that you can get. That's that. I'm so stupid sometimes. Fair kid. Okay, so there was that cutscene. Totally random Jake being a badass and eating an apple. Staying healthy for the cause. Um, so that was that. Um, what was I doing? So I was going to show you the... Was it this? For the love of God, I cannot find the skill menu. This is embarrassing. Special features, right? Uh, options. Mm -hmm. It was the campaign. Skill settings, found it. Ha! Okay. And now purchase new skills. These new skills will include... It was right after the arrow pickup. No, it was after that. Infinite handgun infinite shotgun. Oh, it's just infinite ammo. That is what you get for... Oh, that costs a lot of money. Basically, you just have infinite ammo for that, which makes that game so much easier. And it was complaining. I was complaining about, uh, losing all that ammo. Just zombies absorbing all my shit. Little bastards. Um, that is that. I'm not gonna show you the collections because it's very empty. You can probably just Google it for it, and you'll find it. So... Thank you, that is the end for future, sure, final, forget blah, blah, blah. So, uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I enjoy criticism. If you have some complaints, go ahead and tell me, I don't mind. Anything that will make me better is something I approve of, so thanks for watching, hope to see you next time.